Today I'm going to talk to you about the Creality LD002R 3D printer. This is a resin based printer from Creality. Uh, it's their latest resin printer. It's not their first. They did have the LD001 and the LD002, but there were a lot of problems with those printers and have been sorted out in this printer. And this printer is a solid, solid machine. Um, I have been supremely impressed by the build quality, how well this has been put together and uh, all that. Guys, please consider subscribing to this channel. I want to build up this channel and we're working really hard at bringing you good videos, but I need the subscriber base to increase and for us to just grow this channel into what, it, what it's meant to be. I'm really excited about this channel and I'm pouring a lot of effort into this and I want to continue pouring a lot of effort into it. I got this printer from DIY Electronics in Durban. Go check out their website. They do some uh, incredible services and they offer things at incredible prices. Uh, especially in South Africa. But you can also get this printer on Banggood uh, for about $279 and it's a great value for money for printer for what you're actually getting. The unboxing, I was going to do an unboxing of this because I love doing unboxing videos but gosh guys this was just literally take it out of the box, take the polystyrene off and it's ready to go. So I was excited, I, printed, I ripped it out and I started doing some prints and I'll show you the results of those prints shortly. They are nothing short of amazing. Uh, in the box you get a full set of tools, so you get your, your tools for leveling and for cleaning up of the printer. Uh, you get your spatula, uh, this is one area that was, a very, was very disappointing for me. I found it really hard to get the prints off the build plate. They stuck really well and this hasn't got much of a sharpened edge like the other Creality one from my other printer. You then get a plastic spatula. This is not for removing prints. This is for cleaning up your FEP film and your resin bin. You get a 16 gig flash drive, a cute little flash drive here with one or two, sam well, two samples on it. It's also got the Cheetah box, but I suggest you don't download the Cheetah box off the flash drive. Go download the latest version off the website. The website has got the latest version and that one is more up to date. They give you some face masks. You need this because the resin smell is quite heavy and your isopropyl alcohol is quite heavy. There's some filter bags in here. I'm just going to buy coffee filters to filter out the resin when you need to clean out the vat. They provide you with two packs of gloves. Now forget about it. This is not nearly enough. I went out and bought a whole box of gloves. You need gloves like coming out of your wazoo. There are so many gloves required uh, to keep your hands free from the resin. And finally in the box you get a paintbrush. Now the paintbrush is just to clean off your print with isopropyl alcohol. Warning guys, you do not get resin in the box. I did a lot of research before I got the machine and I was checking to see if I got resin. So for safety I went out and I bought a, uh, a bottle of Creality resin. The stuff comes well packaged, uh, is relatively well priced, um, you know, and uh, I think it's about 50, 40, 50 dollars. Uh, it comes in an aluminium uh, container to protect it from sunlight and in a nice uh, vacuum pack, oh not vacuum, in a nice bubble pack here and in this box. I just store mine inside here and that's out of the way, but just remember you don't get resin out of the, um, out of the box. So you have to buy a bottle of resin when you buy the printer, otherwise you're going to sit there looking at this beautiful printer and nothing to print. So getting onto the construction of the, of the printer, it's got a all metal base that is well constructed, it's clean, it's solid, it feels, it's got a good solid feel to it. You've got the acrylic lid here to protect the resin from UV light, the orange protects it from the UV light. Um, it's a beautiful solid build, this is very very well built. And yeah, now that was a mistake. Uh, <clears throat> as I've done that, I've released the smell of resin into the room. So yeah, that resin smell is is quite quite hectic. But this does a great job of encapsulating the uh, and keeping it all locked in. And then when you put your fan on and you run the fan, it extracts the air. But it's got carbon filters inside which key, cleans the air and reduces the smell of resin. And it does greatly reduce that smell of resin. Um, it's got a full on touch screen on the front of the printer over here. Uh, the print touch screen works well. I'm very happy with it. The interface is good. It's clean. It's got a little button over here for your power. Uh, that's a nice solid button. It feels good when you push it in. It's really uh, solid. And on the side 
you've got your full-size USB port so that you can plug your USB stick in into it. I like the fact that it's a full-size USB port for thumb drives. Very easy to put um, your thumb drive onto the onto the printer. Uh, it's got an all metal uh, resin vat. It's a nice clean resin vat. It's very well designed. It's got your FEP film in there that you gotta be very careful that you don't break. I have 3D printed a cap that goes on top here. This cap covers the, uh, the resin vat. So it protects it from the UV rays and keeps the resin fresh and sealed in there. This is another great thing about 3D printing. I needed to have a cover for it. I went to my Creality printer and printed a cover for it. And I also printed this here. This here is now once you've done your print, so let me take that out the way, and we just unscrew this at the top here. You notice I'm not wearing gloves, but it is clean. You slip this onto here, very tight fit. And you slip your slip your resin vat on uh, your your bill plate onto there, and it will drip the drippings back into the tray. No wastage, no fuss. You don't have to stand here holding it. Uh, it's a great addition to the printer to have that just that little piece that I printed on my uh, Creality printer for this printer, and now I've upgraded the printer already. So, you know, this is one of the biggest powers of 3D printing is you can upgrade an already existing 3D printer using another 3D printer or the same printer for that matter. The build volume on this printer is 119 millimeters by 65 millimeters by 160 millimeters high. You know, it's not a massive build volume, uh, but for the price and what you're getting is quite phenomenal. Um, and I believe that the build volume is big enough for your most of your prints, for your smaller prints, uh, for the things that you want to get the best detail out of. If you can't print it in a single print, you'll have to break it up into smaller models and then print it and assemble afterward. But the resin that it gets printed with is, is absolutely gorgeous. It really looks amazing. It, it's relatively strong after you cure it, which is a process that I'm still learning how to do. And um, yeah, the, the screen that it comes with, it's got a screen that is a 2K screen. It's a 1440 by 2560 pixel uh, screen that is so you get highly detailed prints out of this thing uh, if you're looking at a 0 0.01 to 0 0.05 millimeter layer height that's that's nothing it's minute in comparison to what you're printing at 0 0.2 on your fdm printer your resolution is just so much cleaner it is phenomenal and it's also got an eight times anti-aliasing uh, on the on the processor so it will do that on the screen it will lighten up the pixels to get rounder edges on your on your prints so that your corners are rounder and smoother and yeah just come on guys this is amazing stuff this um, the print speed okay um i don't know where people get to say that this is fast man it was slow i really um i printed out this eiffel tower which it comes on the sd card on the on the uh, flash drive okay as a standard model on the flash drive and the quality of this is unbelievable obviously it's been sliced at the best slicer settings of 0 0.01 millimeters so it's going to get the highest resolution if you look at that print it is amazing the detail of this print uh, it is truly untouched you cannot get this kind of detail out of an fdm printer um, now getting back to that bull plate issue i had where it was really sticking as you notice i'm holding it by the one corner here that corner broke when i was taking it off the bull plate so unfortunately i cracked that and uh sort of ruined the model a little bit but i still got the the desired effect out of this model with getting the detail that just blew my mind it was absolutely amazing i cleaned it off with isopropyl alcohol and then i put it out in the sun for an hour or so and i was told that that was too long but it doesn't seem to have adversely affected the print and then i put it in a bit of water another tip that i was given add it into water after you've soaked it in the in the sun uh, also in the sun and that seals up everything and just adds extra bond and extra uh, strength to the print you have to clean it once you get it off the print plate you have to clean it properly if you don't clean it properly um, it little bits of resin will cure and become blobs on your print so that will ruin your print i also printed out a calibration cube this calibration cube uh, took about an hour to print oh by the way this took 19 hours to print 
and the worst thing happened. Um, I was printing this, for, just got it out of the box, put the resin in, and started printing, uh, leveled the, the head, and started printing, and um, I got to about this level here, and we had a power failure, and that was the end of that print. There is no resume on power failure. So I did not, I was not happy about that, but luckily it didn't get too much higher up and then we had that power failure. So I reset everything, wait for the power to come back on and uh, we reset and I printed it again and luckily it completes it. In the time that it specified, it said it would take about 19 hours, 15 minutes, it took 19 hours and 11 minutes. So a very good estimation on the time that it would take to print. Uh, when I first saw the 19 hours, I'm like, nah, can't be, can't be that long. But yeah, it was a 19 hour print, but it is 4,032 layers high. That's how many layers it, it prints. And it takes about six to 19 seconds per layer. So you can see how that can take some time to print out. But the other advantage of this kind of printer is if you have a wider build as opposed to a high build, it'll be a quicker build because it flashes the whole layer at one time. It doesn't print individual parts like the, uh, the FDM printer. It flashes the whole layer at a time. It lifts the, layer, the print up, puts it back down to the right height and flashes the next layer. This does reduce the print time. So if you can fill up the build plate, it will not increase your print time, but you'll get more print time, but more print out of the printer in a certain time period. So getting back to this calibration cube, so I decided to print this out the, uh, on the printer uh, with supports. I didn't do any supports on the um, on the Eiffel Tower, but this was sliced in T2 box, and with the standard settings, I put it at the stock standard settings of the of the printer, uh, what the default was for the Ender 3. Didn't change anything. Put the supports on print automatic supports. And started printing. Now the base is a little bit rough over here where the all the supports were. I can suppose I can sand that down, but it's also a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little bit arched like that. It's not as flat as I was hoping it to be, but the sides are flat and clean. You you cannot see layer heights. And I did this at a quite a big layer height, big of 0.05 millimeters, but you still can't see the layer light. And also if you look at the lettering, the lettering looks absolutely incredible. It is crisp, clean, no ghosting, nothing like that because there's no, no head moving around and uh, your sides are, are very clean and very clear. So the only other thing that I did with this is I did take out the vernier and measure it. And um, on the one axis is 20.2. On the other one, it's 20.3, and on this axis, it's 20.1. So it's not 100% accurate, and I have heard that the accuracy is something that is of your scale of your print is quite difficult to achieve. It's got a linear rail on the Z axis, which keeps your Z very stable, so there's no wobble and very clean. So you're, it's a very stable print. Uh, I'm really absolutely amazed at the, the functionality of the printer, of how well it prints and how clean those prints are. They're incredibly precise. Uh, it's got the charcoal air filter, which I spoke about earlier. And uh, the overall weight of the machine is about seven kilograms. So it's not a light machine because it is so well built. It is solid. It's a solid piece of machinery and uh, works really well. And it's not all that loud. So if I turn it on. So the sound of the printer is not loud. It's very, very well muffled by the lid. And because you've got your small fan over here. And um, yeah, the quality of this printer is off the charge charts this as i said in the beginning of this video this is my honest review of this printer this is my printer uh, and i am extremely happy with this uh, yeah this is a good quality printer definitely go out and get one uh, know that resin printers are they messier than printing with the, your fdm you don't just simply take it off the build and you've got your print in your hand you have to post cure this and pro, post wash it so there is a bit of post processing you need to do but i think it's worth it uh, the quality of the prints are just amazing. I still want to do some tests on strength. And if I do uh, practical prints that are for, for different items uh, that are practical, I want to see how strong they are and how well they hold up. But I do know that the look of them is going to be absolutely amazing. So I'm going to be building a UV chamber, which I'll show you guys how I built that. And uh, we'll do some more experiments and we'll bring you more updates as we go. 
Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a like if you did. Please subscribe. 92% uh, of my viewers are not subscribers. So please, guys, if you watch this video, just hit that subscribe button. Uh, and yeah, I'm trying to push out uh, quality content uh, at the best, you know, the best I can give you. And hopefully this information is informative and helps you guys make an informative decision on buying one of these printers. But my recommendation right now as it stands after using this just for a few days is definitely go out and get one of these these things this is amazing this is the next evolution in 3d printing uh, guys stay well stay healthy stay at home i hope you guys are surviving well in the lockdown and we'll see you soon god bless